Contingents of United Nations troops continue to pour into the Congo, a newly independent, strife-torn storm center of global tension and controversy. These units are Tunisian, African nationals, like most of the other units dispatched by the call of the Security Council. But despite their arrival, Belgian troops continue to hold key centers in the vast region, where looting and violence by mutinous Congolese army elements continues. At United Nations headquarters, stormy debate rages. The Congo demands the early withdrawal of the Belgian troops and threatens to call for Russian aid, which the Soviet has ominously promised. The Red Ultimatum was rejected by United States Ambassador Lodge with a stern warning against intervention in the violence-torn country. In a rapidly shifting and precarious situation, predictions are impossible, but it appears even more clearly that the future of the Congo and perhaps of world peace lies in the United Nations, which has undertaken one of the most momentous tasks in the organization's history.